grand nationwide opening August 20 from Viva Films and Skylight Films. Huwag natin patagalin because medyo limited time tayo this morning but we are so happy. The four major cast of Talk Back and You're Dead are here. Starting off with the beautiful Miss Yassi Pressman. Yeah. Yassi, yeah, okay. Uh, hi, good morning, morning bebe. Can you, um, yan. A few words from, um, Pati ka muna, Beth. Hello. Hello. Uh -oh. Hello. It's working though. Hello. Hi guys, good morning. Thanks for coming and enjoy. <laughs> Alright, and of course, um, we were so proud of uh, the Star Magic family and ABS have been so proud of him. Um, so Joseph Marco. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and thank you for being here. So, it's a uh, fun. Hindi na nila alam ang oras kakabramot. They're the busiest. And of course, the hotness. Mr. James Reed! Ay, nag-work na talaga. Dave, please greet our blogger friends. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Thanks, James. And of course, the lead uh, actress of Talk Back and Your Dad, Miss Nadine Lustre. Hey. Hey. Hi, good morning, po. Salamat po sa pagpunta niyo. Thank you. 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 Story and the cast and everything, Miko can help us with that. But ayon yun do umupo, so ito lang siya sa tabi ko. But for that, we'd like to show you the updated at cinema. Ano tawo to? Full trailer. Full trailer and the making of Top Back and Your Dead. Please watch this. Kalayg niya, kaka ganon siya. Siya siya. Oh, anong alay siya? Ayan. Yun na po yung press con. Yun na yun. Tinapin na nila lahat. Okay, good morning again. We can now start with a question and answer. Who would like to ask the first question? Ayan, si... Paano pa ba ba nung world ng ano? Nang... Huwag mo ako iskuran. Ayan, ayan. Si Chutzi... Ah, Rod Magaro has a question. Go, Rod! I have a question for Star Cinema. Um, why did you decide to co-produce with... Okay, the... Why the... Why a co-production with this project? Um, actually, because we're very happy that Pospic Del Saga Kukiba, which is uh, a constant partner uh, in some of our biggest movies and our biggest projects, uh, offered this to us, offered this to Skylight and to Star Cinema. So, kami naman, uh, seeing the potential in uh, James and Nadine, uh, of course, with the success of Diary ng Pangit, so it's a no-brainer actually. Na, sige, let's let's I know let's do this together with Diva. And of course, with the addition of Yasi and Joseph, um uh, natutuwa kami na ano na ginagawa namin tong project na to with them. And it's our first time to work with these kids. Well, si Joseph, we wala pa no sa film, no. Um Saka Saka for Silver Bro. Uh, yeah. uh, another ano, another brand of Star Cinema. So Ah, uh, So, kaya nagtuwa kami na we're doing something new. We're doing something new, relatively. Yes. Yeah, so, when it, kailan ito nilapit sa Star Cinema? Tapos na yung movie or... Uh, while well, the movies was still being shot. Uh, actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Boss Vic uh, and Tita Malu Santos, our managing director of Star Cinema, has been already in talks uh, after Diary ng Pang to do something na. So, it all coincided with the fact na sabi nga namin, it's the year of the book. Diba? So, after, after, uh, bakit hindi ka pa siyang crush mo, gangster, uh, what's a princess, and sa Viva naman, they had, aba, nakakapasa ka na, and, uh, dahil na pang, eh. So, sabi namin, why not? Let's, ano, uh, let's pursue. Let's go, let's do this. Any box office prediction for this movie? Uh, sabi ko nga kanina, this is a no-brainer, I think. No brainer and at the fact na kita to lakas. These kids are very ano lakas ng alin nila lakas ng affinity nila with a whole new market, a growing market, an emerging market. Thank you. I have question for for lakas. So um, can you explain briefly yung 
yung kaibahan ng characters. Kala ko yung role nila eh. Kasi no. sa <laughs> kaibahan na. Kaibahan ng role nyo dun sa personal characters nyo based dun sa um, yeah, yung personal character. Uh, your character as um, versus your personality. Yung, per, yung yes, ugali personal. nilang totoo. Let's start with Yasi. Eh, eh, eh. Chip. Chip. Hello? Um, si Audrey, she's really, really different uh, to me personally. Kasi Audrey's really, well, ma masungit siya eh. Mataray siya. And she gets kind of really mean to Samantha actually. And I think yung pagkaparehas namin siguro is we're both competitive. But she has other ways. Ako, I like friendly competition. Si Audrey talaga, talagang magagalit siya kay Samantha. But she's a nice person. Mayroon lang talagang reason bakit siya ganun kay Samantha that you guys have to find out when you watch the movie. Joseph, kay Red, ano bang kaibahan mo? Well, yung sa akin man, kay Red, parang konti lang naman yung difference namin. Medyo similar siya sa personality ko. Well, number one, uh, parang seryoso siya siyang tao. Ako medyo seryoso rin ako. And, uh, Bobeero siya, dumaan din naman ako sa pagiging Bobeero dati. But, you know, people change. So, di ba, pigyan niyo ako ng chance. Anyway. Yun, vain din siya. Well, of course, di ba, pagiging artista, dapat we really have to take good care of ourselves. So, in a way, vain din kami. And, um, may hiling rin akong ano. Kasi si Red, nagparaya siya sa sa best friend niya. Para dun sa sa taong minamahal niya. So, ako, ganun din naman ako sa mga friends ko. If, if talagang kailangan, di ba, ibibigay ko. And, siguro yung difference na namin is, siya involved siya sa, sa ganga. And, I'm not. So, yeah. James. For me, I think, the biggest difference is, uh, Cup is hot, uh, really hot tempered. And me, I'm very patient, understanding. Wow, so good. Very patient. In in real life, yes. Your um, patient, your understanding. But our similarities. Um, uh, he believes in in loyalty, in brotherhood. So I can relate to that. And it's also body. That's true. All right. Thanks, James. Nadine. Um, ako naman ba yung, yung pinagkaiba ko si Sam? Si Sam kasi firm and proper. Ako medyo... <laughs> medyo hindi. And ano kasi siya, um, she's an overachiever. Tapos medyo perfectionist siya. Gusto niya palagi siyang nasa taas. Gusto niya palagi siyang top one. Ako, okay na ako sa average. So yun po. Okay, Rod. Uh, last, last question for sure. James. James, um... Ha, um Ano yung kaibahan ito dun sa diary ng pangit role mo from this? Um, hmm. Mas maangas si Top. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Mas maangas si Top. Um, uh, he's more mature. Cross-centered with sa diary ng pangit. He's more of a brat. Immature. Still a kid. This is very mature. Um, he thinks really deep. And he believes in true love. So uh, I can I can say the main difference is he's more mature. Thank you. Thanks, Rod. Uh, okay. Uh, next question will come from your name and your uh, blog stand, site. Please. Stanley Breeze from Reserve that go. Uh, I just have a question, kay ano kay James and then kay James. Uh, I'd like to know how you define bad boy and are you bad boy in person. Uh, baboy ang baboy. Ah, baboy, sorry. Kala ko, pinulang chika. Okay, Jake, how do you define bad boy? Me personally, hindi ako bad boy. I don't think I am. But I would define a bad boy as, uh, well, top for me is the definition of a bad boy. Nagumura siya, he smokes, um, he's mean, um, he's hot tempered. Yeah, he's a bad boy, basically. Yeah, for me, that's the same. My character, Red, of course, since we're in a different gang, so we're really a bad boy group. But then again, there's something that's like, it's not just because you're a bad boy, it's really nice, right? It's like, maybe you're just involved because you're a peer pressure or circle of friends. But if you're responsible, good heart ka, di ba? Kahit na bad boy ka, I think, okay na naman yun. 
Right. So, my, sec my second question is, uh, picking up from, from the tagline na binagay ko ni James, I may not be your prince, but I may be your slave. How could you expand, expand, expand this one? Um, well, Top doesn't really see himself as a prince. Um, not the fairy tale prince that Samantha would like to have. But um, because he loves her, he would do anything to be with her. So, uh, do anything for her and be her slave. How about for, um, for Joseph? Uh, same question. Same line. Uh, what, what, what's the line again? Uh, ah, you're having him react to the code ni Anya. It's like, 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 I may not be your prince, but I may be your slave. I may not be your prince, but I can be your slave. Um, kasi, pag, pagdating sa love, kahit na gano'ng kataas ka, kahit na anong position mo, kahit na anong lifestyle mo, pag na-in love ka, wala eh, parang, parang ibibigay mo lahat eh, kahit na, Ano bang mangyari? Minsan yung pride mo mawawala, minsan yung ego mo mawawala kasi nga, you love the person. So, siguro doon niya nakuha yung point na kahit na maging slave mo ako, mamahalin kita. Thank you. Baka baka naman yung maging slave. Sika. Kaya ako yun. Sika. Okay, next question. Please, you're like, ano si Anna, FPJ. Go. Hi. Question ko lang is, have you read the book before you got the role? Or while doing filming? Or yun nga. Uh, after na nabasa nyo yung libro. Nabasa nyo na ba? All four of you. Okay, nabasa na nila. So, ang tanong na natin ngayon is... Uh, so, ang uh, tanong doon is, uh, how did you react to the role? And, sa so, tingin nyo ba nakarelate talaga kayo when you were reading the book? Ayun. After reading it, and then you're actually doing the roles, the characters. Nakarelate. Um, me, personally, Hindi ko pa nabasa yung libro. Kasi what happened is, um, Audrey de la Cruz, she isn't really a positive image all throughout the movie. Kasi nga, uh, nangangawi siya. So meron siyang parang kontrabida part and almost like secret part of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, pinag-isipan talaga ng Viva if they were gonna give me the role. But then Boss Veronique really wanted me to be together, of course, with James and Nadine to be part of the three of the Fab Four, and of course, including Joseph now this time. And um, so what I did, we were so close to the days of shooting when they finally uh, made the decision na ako talaga yung gaganap na Audrey. I talked to Alessana instead, and then I asked her everything na, kasi for me, para ma mabuhay ako sa character ni Audrey now, I wanted to know what happened before, what's gonna happen in the next book, para alam ko kung paano ko i-aatakihin yung part ng script where the book is coming from. Part of the book where the script is coming from. Yan. Yeah. Well, ako naman, honestly, hindi ko rin nabasa yung book. Actually, parang third pages lang, pero... <laughs> <laughs> pero, 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 so yun, trinay kong basahin yung book, siguro mga 30 pages, pero huminto na ako kasi nag-start na rin kami mag-taping ng Pure Love and yun nga, binasa ko na rin yung script. Pero sabi nila, yung script daw namin and sa book, parang very similar naman talaga. Parang nakuha naman lahat ng important details from the book to the script. And then while reading the script, parang, yeah, naka-relate naka din ako and naging excited ako, especially dun sa red hair niya. Kasi parang, for me, it's, it's, it's you to me, parang, Parang cool naman magkukulayan yung buko. So nag-look forward ako kung paano yung magiging role ko and atake ko. And yun. So nag-enjoy naman ako habang, binabasa, habang nabasa ko yung book. Ito din ako ang asang nabasa niya yung book. <laughs> did, you read, have you read the, uh, did you read the yes, book? Yes, of course. Wow! wow! I'm in the diary. I'm in the books in uh, two days actually. Yeah, diary. You're in the diary. We all enjoy it. After I read the, the book, even the script, I was so excited to play the character of Top because it's, his character is so strong and um, it, was, it was really going to test you know, my, my acting ability and I was really excited to do something I've never tried. So overall, I was really excited. Thanks, James. And of course, Nadine, did you uh, read the book? Okay, yes, but I read the Yay, book. Yay, nakadalawa. Go against the Go, Go Actually, after ng DNP, um, sabi nila sa akin, okay, basahin mo tong libro. As in, ganun ka casual. Binigay lang nila libro, and then sabi nila sa akin, basahin mo next project mo. Then I read it. Habang nagpo-promote po kami ng DNP sa Visayas, 
sa airplane, binabasa ko na siya. And it was really good. Actually, um, I don't really read. I don't like reading books. Pero yung talk back and it was the second book po na napasok and na natapos ko. It was really nice. Actually, umiyak ako dun sa sa last oh, yeah, part. Yeah, the airplane. The one uh, sa yun. <laughs> sobrang umiyak ako. So after reading the book, sobrang kinabahan ako. Kasi ayoko pong ayoko pong madisappoint yung mga yung mga diehard fans ng book. Ayoko ng makadisappoint. But then. We were really confident in the